Welcome back to Jesus Fire Devotion. Um, if you're new to this channel, I see you please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm just getting started with this channel. I have another channel, but this one is new. Um, and I hope that this channel will help us all to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, as we spend time going to the Word of God um, and doing Christ Christian focused things. So um, tonight, I'm going through St. John chapter 10. I'll be reading from a King James Version Bible. Um, so you can join me in King James, or if you have another uh, biblical translation, then you can join me with that. All right. So let's get started. I'm just going to read straight through first. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not before to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is the hireling and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth the Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. There was a division there for among, again, among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, he hath a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him? Others said, these are not the words of him that hath a devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came Jesus round about him round about him and said unto him how long dost thou make us to doubt or i'm sorry then came the jews round about him and said unto him how long dost thou make us to doubt if thou be the christ tell us plainly jesus answered them i told you and ye believed not the works that i do in my father's name they bear witness of me but ye believe not because you're not of my sheep as i said unto you my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I shall, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. 
My father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my father, for which of these works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto, the, whom the world, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of, of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand, and went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true. And many believed on him there. So there's a lot in this chapter, right? Let's pray and then let's get in. <clears throat> Jump in. Thank you, Lord, for your word. God, thank you that your word is cleansing, that your word is powerful, that your word is alive it's living and active it's sharper than any two-edged sword and it's good for reproof for rebuke for correction and instruction in righteousness your word gives us counsel your word gives us power god your word cleanses us again <laughs> but god your word uh teaches us who you are and how we should live it helps us to to have a relationship with you so father i pray that as i go through this scripture that you will unpack things and Help us to see things more clearly. Holy Spirit, I invite you here. And I pray that you have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So there's a lot again in here. Um, so it starts off, Jesus is talking. If you have words of Christ in red in your Bible, you can see where Jesus is speaking. But Jesus is talking about the difference between a thief and a robber uh, versus him versus him as the true shepherd in the door, right? And so the Bible lets us know that like many will come in Christ's name saying that I am Christ. And there are many people that will um, try to deceive others, deceive people, but they're thieves and robbers. Only Jesus is the Christ, right? And so Jesus says in verse 2, But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. So Jesus refers to himself as both the door of the sheep and the shepherd of the sheep. Let me point that out. So in verse 2, he says, But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep, right? In verse 11, he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. He didn't say only I am the shepherd because there are lots of shepherds. There are hirelings who are shepherds who are um, not Jesus, who will not give everything they have for the sheep, who will run when trouble comes because they're not invested in the sheep. And then, um, so when he talks about the door, he says in verse 7, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. So he is the door. Um, and so he's the, he's the way and he is the shepherd. Jesus said in another place, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me or except through me. Right? And so he says in verse 9, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. So 
Jesus is this door that we can enter in and be with saints. Jesus is this door that we can enter in to the sheepfold. So verse one, so it's like, what is this door leading to? This door is leading to where the sheep are, the sheepfold, right? He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So we also have to enter into the group of sheep through Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. We can't come to people say, oh, there's many ways to God. There's many ways to heaven. That's not true. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, except through me. He says, I'm the only way. And we already know that thieves and robbers don't enter the kingdom of God. So we have to come through the door. We have to come through Jesus. How do we do that? Romans 10, 9 through 10. But if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. There's safety, there's salvation through that door into the door where we become protected and shepherded by Jesus himself. He's going to protect us and he's protected us already at the price of his life. If you're watching the other video, um, I was talking about the love of God and how God loves us so much that the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So like, that's the amount of love that he has for us. It's like this, it's immeasurable. It's a love that's undeserved that we cannot earn. We cannot um, merit, right? And so we get to enter this door. We get to enter into this protection of Christ by faith by believing him and in that in that door is it's shepherding so what do shepherds do they guide they protect they take care of the sheep right and then those sheep get to know their leader right they don't just you know follow anyone's voice they follow only the voice of their leader and we see that in verse 5 it says in a stranger Will they not follow, but will flee from him? For they know not the voice of strangers. And so sheep, these sheep, they don't know the voice of another leader. They don't know the voice of other gods. They only follow the voice of God. And again, in verse 27, he said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So not only do the sheep know their shepherd, but what's beautiful is that the shepherd also knows the sheep. So to the good shepherd, who is Jesus, he doesn't just, you know, number us off. And he's not unaware if one gets lost or one's not with the fold somehow or another. He's not oblivious. He knows each of his sheep, each one. And guess what? In another scripture, God says that he will leave 99 sheep to go find the one. So if you're the wandering one, he's not going to say, oh, well, I got 99. Who cares so much? That's not the way Jesus is. Jesus loves each one of his sheep individually. He has given his life for each one individually, right? That's a good shepherd. So I'm going to continue with part two in the next video. If you haven't, again, please like, comment, subscribe this video. If you're enjoying this video, um, put some comments. If you have other revelations from these scriptures or something um, has stood out to you um, that you found to be a blessing for you. See you in part two.